Hey, this is Anthony with RevZilla TV, and welcome to our 2011 race suit guide. This is coming out spring of 2011. This is covering the best of what we see in the range of race suits at a few different levels of technicality, a few different levels of functionality here. And what we've done in this video, what you're going to see is nine different race suits. We sell over 50 race suits at RevZilla.com. What we've tried to do is really break it down into what I'm going to consider mid-range suits that are great for the weekend warrior. From there, you're going to go to the second tier, which I consider more hardcore functionality. It gets a little more specific. You start to see additional levels of technicality, additional materials that are onto those suits. They become more specific. So what you have is you're investing a little bit more to get a little more of the creature comforts, a little bit more protection. And in the third tier of the suits we're going to show you today are going to be really pro-level suits or suits that are very high-end. They're going to use a lot of the materials that you're going to see in the custom suits that the pros wear. So this is part of our spring summer gear guide available at RevZilla.com slash summer where we cover boots, suits, gloves, jackets, the whole nine yards. And in this video, really, we're going to try to give you um, at least a starting point if you're new to the racetrack or you're new to getting into you know, wearing a one-piece leather suit. Hopefully, we can kind of boil down some options and give you somewhere to start from. So really what we've picked out for this first tier, and I have uh, Eric next to me in a Technique Violator for $719. This first tier are all going to be Brazilian cowhide, lots of perforation, safety stitch, what, they're not entry level suits. These are going to be sub $800 suits that are going to be what we consider a great level of protection for the first time or beginning rider that's going to keep them safe and keep them comfortable at the track. They're also going to be reasonable pre shapes. So we have the Technique Violator, it comes in a handful of different colorways. Notice a big perforation scheme, scheme here. We have temper foam inserts. Some of the standout features on this guy is Brazilian cowhide. You have S1 stretch panels for flex and movement. You're going to have external hard part sliders that are on the shoulders here that are vented, and you're going to have CE armor through. Out. Give a quick spin, Eric. Notice the big perforation scheme of GP style hump. It's all right, turn around. GP style hump on the back, but again, especially in the Northeast, most Americans that are hitting the track are doing so in the spring and summer where it's really hot, really humid, so the perf comes into play. We sell dramatically more perforated suits than we do non-perf suits here in the States. Eric's 5'6", 165, about a 38, 40 inch chest. Eric's si wearing a size 40 in this Technique Violator. And remember, everything we're going to show you today has its own video on the product page on RevZilla.com. This is just a brief overview. All right, scram. So next up in our suit lineup here at the mid-range is going to be the AGV Sport Monza suit. Now again, this is the mid-tier option from AGV Sport. What we like about it, lots of perf. Again, stretch panels. Patrick's about 5'9", 170, 38 inch chest. Patrick, you're wearing a size 42, correct? correct. Patrick's wearing a 42. Brazilian cowhide, 1.2 to 1.4. Perforation, punctuation. You're getting a nice turn sideways for me. Nice aluminum slider that's exposed here. CE rated in the elbow, CE rated in the shoulder. Turn backwards for me. Nice big speed hump here that's both aerodynamic as well as for protection and with a good amount of elastication. You actually have zip panels for venting here on the back as well. And notice again, Patrick here is five foot nine. He fills this guy out, but it's a relaxed shape. So this is one of those guys, turn back around for me, where if you're hanging out on the track or you're not racing all day, it's going to be less of an aggressive pre-shape. So even with one shoulder out, it'll still be comfortable to be standing around in. So again, multiple colors. This is the AGV Sport Monza suit. Check out the full video on the product page. Go ahead. Next up, this is the last tier in our mid-range option for 2011. This is a staple suit in the RevZilla lineup. This is called the Alpine Stars Trigger at $7.99. Again, multiple colors in this guy. Jason is 5'11", 180, about a 40, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size 52. This is one of our most, our most popular suits for beginners as well. And I'm going to show you lots of perforation, S1 stretch panels, auto locking zippers, a lot of the creature comforts you see in the full range from Alpine Stars, safety stick steam, punctuation here. Turn to the side for me. I want to show BioFlex armor, which is more comfortable than your standard entry level armor in the shoulders as well as the elbow forearm. Turn backwards for me. One key point to, to, to note here it's a sports style hump versus a GP style hump. For a beginning or a more moderate track day guy, a lot of times it takes a little bit of learning curve at, when you're crashing to get into that slide position. What this hump is going to do is be more forgiving if you're a newer rider that's still getting used to hitting the ground at speed. So this will help you get in your slide quicker. Again, it's a little bit less aerodynamic, but it's built for some somebody who's still you know, learning the ropes and improving as a rider. Turn back around. Lots of stretch down at the legs. Notice we've all our guys are wearing A-Stars boots today. They're all wearing uh, GP Pluses. Big perf scheme. Lots of temper foam. Multiple colors here. 719. Again, Jason's wearing a 52. And this is what we're going to have to round out our mid-range suit. You know, These are our three picks is what we think you should really be starting with if you're new to the track in 2011. So moving into our second tier here, these are what I consider hardcore suits. And I'm really, I'm going to use a term here that we don't usually use to talk about race products, but I'm going to call it crossover. This range of suits, the next three we're going to show, which starts here with the A-Stars GP Pro, 
I'm going to call it crossover because from $9.99, as we have for the GP Pro, to $11.99, which is going to be the last suit we uh, end with from Dionese, what you're really going to get is a lot of bang for the buck. You're going to really start to see upgraded features, things that are borrowed from the race level suits that start to trickle down and make it into these suits. All these suits are going to have removable sanitized liners. They're all going to have external hard parts. They're going to have Aramid stitching, which is Kevlar stitching in the impact areas. You're going to start to see suits, like starting with this one, where the seams are starting to be moved really a lot further from the impact areas and it's something that's taken into consideration consideration. You have all GP style humps in all of these. So starting with the GP Pro here, Jason's again 5'11", he's wearing a size 52, about 180 pounds. Lots of perforation S1 stretch panels. The big difference here, you're going to start to see the trim, areas that are high use around the neck, at the collars or at the, at the cuffs to keep it from chafing your skin. Turn sideways for me, face that way. External hard parts at the shoulders, at the elbows, as well as at the knee. Again, borrowed from that pro level suit. Now they're making it into that sub thousand dollar range. This guy's at $9.99. Turn backwards for me. You have a few different colors, GP style humpier, it's ventilated. Notice the big U-shaped stretch panel across the back and a lot of stretch, S1 stretch as it goes down the legs. Come back here for me. So again, you're getting that next level of suit, next level of protection. The fit on all the suits, the next three that I'm going to show, are all going to be much more of an aggressive either race or pro level fit and that's going to be the the aggressive shape of them, they're not, they're gonna be less comfortable standing up and down. They're gonna be built to be perfectly aligned with your body when you're in that ergonomic or that race aggressive attack position. All right, Jace, you can get out of here. So this is the GP Pro at $9.99. Moving up from there, we have a brand new suit for 2011. This suit's wild. This is what Batman would ride if he was a racer. This is the white black version of the Revit Tarmac. This is a ton of bang for the buck at $11.50. $11.49, brand new spring 2011. What you're getting is a lot of the features that they have in the Victory, which is their top end suit, but you're getting them at a lower price point at an easier way to get in. Again, this is $11.49, it's no joke. That's $1,000 to $1,200 is a lot of money to invest in a suit, but you're getting a lot of bang for the buck here. Look at the perforation scheme. Lots of S1 stretch panels. You have new articulation on the inside of the arms. You now have the same external hard parts that you have in the Victory, which is a dual compound. It's an aluminum slider with a honeycomb backing, so it slides as well as being shock absorption. CE rated armor in all of these, shoulders, elbows, forearms, and knees. Moving down here, turn to the side face that way for me. Show the external hard parts on the back here. Big elasticated stretch panels. You have a hump that's ventilated as well as being ready for a water bag system that comes from Revit. Turn backwards for me. Big U-shaped design, lots of elasticated stretch panel, really, really aggressive, aggressive look. Um, Eric is about 5'6". He's wearing a size 48. Turn back around. He's 165 with about a 38 to 40 inch chest. Notice just the way that this is set up. Dual compound knee sliders. You're getting a lot of suit here. You're getting a lot of pro level options. So again, this is the Revit Tarmac. Be sure to watch the full detail video as we break it all the way down. Thanks, Eric. Last up in our lineup is another extremely popular suit. This is from Dionese. This is the most popular Dionese suit that we sell at Revzilla. This is called the Laguna Seca Pro. Comes in the black version. You got a little schmutz on you there, Patrick. And it comes in a white version as well. Aluminum co-injected shoulder sliders that have CE rated armor behind. Notice the elastication and the S1 stretch panel that goes all the way down. Tons of perforation. You even have perforation in your temper foam. This is the black white version, or this is the black version. There's also a black white. Notice big S1 stretch panels that come down, dual compound sliders. Turn around for me, Patrick. Big ventilated speed hump here with a big exhaust, U-shaped elasticated panel along the small of the back, and this is a much more aggressive pre-shape. So this, you know, notice the stretch on the back of the collar as well, your t-shirt's sticking out, turn back around for me. So at $1,200, you're getting a suit that has a removable liner, has a lot of pro-level features. This is really when guys are big Dionese fans, Dionese is the marriage of really Italian style with high-end technicality. I always call them the Armani and Ni meets Nike of the motorcycle world. But you're getting a lot of features here that are, are really detail-oriented with an extremely protective and Italian style suit. And again, check out the video for this one and you gotta see the white version. Really, really awesome at $1,199 from Dionese. Thanks, Patrick. So next up, this is going to be our third tier of race suit. These are what I consider pro suits on up. This is going to be a lot of pro level race replica features that make it down into a suit that you can still buy off the rack. You know, when you start, you start talking about this $1,200, $1,300, $1,400, $1, $1, $1,500 price range, you're getting many of the components that go into a race or pro level suit. What you're not getting is a custom fit, and that's really when you take it to that $2,000 level and on up. Sometimes you start to see cow high or a kangaroo come into the play, which is going to make a suit lighter in different places, but then really it's all about the custom fitting. So really, in that $1,300 to $1,600 range, you can get a suit that's going to offer a lot of different elements that are going to be worn on the racetrack by World Superbike, by MotoGP. Case in point, 
$12.99. This is Revit's top end suit. This is called the Victory. It was new for 2010. This is actually the suit that I'm currently wearing on the track. This is a red, white, and blue version. I'm actually wearing the black version myself. Nate Kern, the BMW rider, is wearing this exact suit as well. So what you have is x lace cowhide. It's a little bit lighter weight. Um, but just as strong as uh, the, the leather that you saw in the tarmac. But again, at $12.99, dual compound sliders, ventilated speed hump. Um, you're getting pro-life armor, upgraded armor that's CE in the shoulders and the elbows, S1 stretch panels, safety stitched everywhere, aluminum sliders with the honeycomb backing, same as the tarmac. Really, this is the same suit Deepun Yu is wearing. And the big piece about it that, that's, that's going to stand out also is the fit pattern. It's a different elastication scheme with these S1 stretch panels. Turn back around for me and show the back. But really, it's a very aggressive race pre shape. Notice a full GP style hump with a, uh, an exhaust here. Turn back around. Eric, as I mentioned, 5'6, 165, 40 inch chest. He's wearing a size 48 in this Revit Victory suit at $12.99. Thanks, Eric. Remember, there's videos on all of these suits on the product pages. We're just kind of glancing through them today. Next up is the Tech 1R, brand new for fall 2011. This is Jason. Big thing that you're going to notice about this suit over the GP Pro that we just showed. Now it has ventilated external hard parts. You're having the bio armor from A-Stars. You know, the, notice the shape of this. You know, uh, Jason here is wearing a size 52, correct? 5'11", 180 a very aggressive race pre-shape. He's probably extremely uncomfortable standing up and down. These are not the level of suits that you're going to wear when you're hanging out at the racetrack. This is a suit that's designed to be like a glove, fit your body perfectly, be extremely ergonomic and tight, keeping you safe while you're in the race position moving around the bike. So external hard parts, S1 stretch panels, or Kepper Tech here on the A-Stars. You notice that we have the comfort cuffs at the neck as well as the, as the cuff of the sleeve. Auto locking zippers, turn around for me. Notice the ventilation scheme on the hard parts, GP style perforated hump, big U-shaped elasticated stretch panel with a lot of, a lot of Kepper Tech down the back of the legs for that stretch and breathability. Turn back around for me, I want to show the knee real quick as well. Notice GP style uh, knee sliders and notice again we have ventilated sliders here on the knee. I mean this stuff really is extremely comfortable but if you really broke it down, it's knee and shin protection. It's almost like catcher's equipment that's just ergonomic and really, really tech. This suit's going to be $13.99 from A-Stars, multiple colors, again I said Jason's wearing a size 50. Too. We love it because it's in that low two or low thousand dollars ish range, but it gives you another step up in protection. And the big here thing, the big thing that's different here on the A Stars is the fit. Thanks, Jason. Last up here in our 2011 suit guide, uh, suit guide is a brand new suit from Dionese, which offers a technology we haven't seen in anything yet. This is called the Avro, and the standout feature here at fifteen ninety nine. Patrick's wearing a size what fifty. This is the black white version. If you come in really tight, you're going to notice this S1 stretch panel that is strong, durable. It's kind of a mix of, it's got a Kevlar material to it, so it's, it's really abrasion resistance, but it covers the whole front here and it goes all the way down the legs. And what you see is that it has D skin. D skin leather, which is bonded to it. They call it the second skin process. So what you're getting is the comfort of a suit that has stretched through the midsection. So he's standing up, up and down right now. He's not terribly uncomfortable, but in abrasion prone areas, he now has a second skin leather, which is put over top. The suit also uses D-Skin, which is Dionese's proprietary tanning process. It's 60 to 80 percent more tensile strength, tensile strong, as well as tear resistant. Titanium co-injected shoulder sliders. These are the most lightweight and strong sliders that Dionese uses. Turn that way for me. Lots of perforated soft inserts here, articulation. It's all about the details on the suit. Turn backwards for me. Ventilated speed hump with an exhaust, big U-shape. I mean, this is an extremely, extremely extremely aggressive, high-end technical suit from Dainese. Turn around for me. Multiple different colors. This is the black, white, red option. It's going to be $1,599. This is a suit that's going to do ex things extremely well, look phenomenal, and have a ton of R&D packed into it. But it's also going to be very comfortable because you have that second skin leather setup. So now you've seen three levels of suit. Mid-range, everyday track day, weekend warrior, next level, which is going to offer more protection, more technical features, be more race oriented. And then this third level, which I consider hardcore pro level inspired features, which the only difference between this and a pro level suit is not custom fit. And you're going to see it's a hell of an investment, but it's a lot, of, you're getting a lot of suit there. We've kind of narrowed it down. Like I said, 50 suits here at Revzilla.com. We sell a full range. These are at different investment points, different protection points, our picks to help you kind of narrow your search of what we're seeing as new features features, new functionalities, and what's rolling out, what, are, what we think is the best of the lineup for 2011. Find our full range of guides for 2011 at revzilla.com slash summer. Watch. If you're looking to invest in a suit, there's a full HD breakdown top to bottom of all the nuances of these suits on those product pages. Eight out of the nine suits we showed you today are $7.99 or higher. They all qualify for a free East Coast track day. If you buy them from us, check out revzilla.com slash 
uh, free dash ride. It's our fresh suit free ride program. And as always with any of this stuff, it's going to ship for free. It's over 39 bucks. We're going to exchange it for free. Never a restock fee. If you just don't like it, send it back in new condition. And you can always earn Teamzilla cash on these orders to be applied to your next order. Our way of saving you money in the long run. The hope is that getting to the racetrack is an expensive sport and we can save you some money more than anybody else um, just off the street by continuing to shop with us. If you have any questions, shoot us a line. See us at Revzilla.com or 877-792-9455. Five. Thanks for watching our spring 2011, or basically our 2011 uh, race suit guide here at RevZilla.com. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.